to my little Facebook live video on Friday the 1st of June, first day of winter for us. Sun is shining though, it is chilly, <laughs> but sun is shining. So how are you? Good I hope. Um, yes, it's been a bit of a crazy week since last week. Sorry I didn't do live last week, but we had a bit of a drama with um, a water pipe leaking in a wall that um, drenched half a room of carpet and we had to take the wall apart pretty much to fix. So yeah, it's been a fun week. <laughs> but um, new carpet is coming and the wall is going to be repaired soon, hopefully, because it's basically all the way along where the pipe is, the um, plasterboard is gone. And the carpet is gone and we've had dehumidifiers and fans going all week to try and dry everything out. So hopefully everything will be back to normal soon. It's been a bit disruptive. I haven't really achieved very much, I don't feel, since it's all happened. Anyway. <laughs> hello and welcome. Hello, hello, hello. So um, what have I done since I saw you two weeks ago? Well, last week before the drama, <laughs> the water <laughs> happened, um, I did a lot of boring computer stuff. You've probably been getting a million emails about the GDPR, um, which is a new for European Union. If you sell anything to people in the European Union, you need to have comply with all these new rules and regulations. So that means me too, because there's a lot of people um, are over there who buy my patterns. So I needed to come up with it update my privacy policy, I needed to make sure I was compliant in lots of different ways. So it was really mind-numbing, but I have done it. If you want to read my privacy policy, if you go to my blog and scroll right down the bottom. Sorry, pardon me, someone just tried to call me. <laughs> I forgot to put, um, do not disturb on. Um, right, so yes, that happened. Um, last week I sent my Freebie Friday email. I sent um, a cushion pattern that was really cool um, and I also updated my app to have that pattern in it as well. Uh, this week I sent an email about um, my giantess crochet along quiet cow that's going to happen soon I'll show you that later and also about my book I'll show you that in a minute too. So um, book progress let me get the exciting bit first. <laughs> um, I'm sorry <laughs> let me just whoops I'm very sorry, I usually um, stop messages from coming now. There we go, no more messages will come through. Right, so book progress. Last week was a very frustrating week, <laughs> but I was actually able to order a print proof. And, sorry, now I'm, there we go. <laughs> a print proof, and it came in the mail. I'll give you a sneak peek soon. Um, it's just so weird seeing something in print. I, I printed things out before, but seeing it in its final format just highlights things that aren't quite right or anything. But anyway, so that's exciting. Um, yes, so would you like to see? <laughs> so this is a print proof of my book. Read for the flock. Here it is in the flesh. I know it's backwards. UK, UK um, terms edition. There's also going to be a US terms edition. So there's the front, there's the back, and I'll give a little flip through. Oops, come on, open. So yay, it's here. <laughs> so there are a few things to fix. Um, a couple of things, now I see it in print, I want to change around. Um, a couple of little oopses that snuck through, that even though it's been proofread a million times. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving it. I mean, how's the photography? Jo O'Keefe um, has done an awesome job. There's one more photo I was going to show you. Um, it's just, it's just turned out so beautifully. I'm so, so happy. And all the patterns all turned out. <laughs> uh, you will be able to buy the book in the United States. Um, as soon as it's, I've finalised the proof and approved the proof. Um, I'm, it's still going to take a little bit of time. I'm still saying probably July it'll happen. But yes, you will be able to buy it no matter where you are in the world. So yay. It's very exciting to finally hold it in my hands. <laughs> so <laughs> you will be able to, I will, as soon as the book is available, I will let you know where you can buy it and you will be able to do it. I won't be quiet about it. You will know. 
surprise me. <laughs> so more on that soon. Thank you very much. Okay, so what else have I been doing? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, my giant test pattern that I've been reworking. I have made a lot of progress on that because sitting on the couch crocheting was pretty much all I could do <laughs> recently with all these other things going on. So what happened? I finished my sample. Thank you. One of the samples that will be. So there we go. So this one has three of the smaller squares on each end and in the middle has two of the larger squares. And I also designed a new border to go with it. So it's quite textural but very simple and, it's, and the border will work no matter what your layout is going to be because you can choose different layouts. You can have just big squares or just small squares or um, change it up in lots of different ways. So when I re-release the pattern, there'll be lots of different options like that for you. So um, the board has been written and tested. The charts have been done for both patterns. Um, the small one's been tested, the big one's been tested now. Um, I've done all the video recording. Um, I have made this version for the large one. I still have to do the smaller one. And this, I use this for the round by round photos that'll be in the pattern. So at the end of every round, you'll have a picture of the corner and the side in the pattern. So you'll know what, what's going on. You can see easily and alternating the colors every round means you can see what's happening in what round really easily. So that's all done. And I've edited those photos as well, which is amazing because that's a job I hate to do, but I did it. <laughs> so I still have to do the smaller one, the same thing for this one. So, um, that's the smaller square. I still have to do the round by round photos for that. That's an unblocked one, obviously. <laughs> so yes, I still need to do the round by round photos for that one, which I think I'm going to do today. I still need to edit the videos. It's a job I hate doing, but it needs to be done. So I will do that. So hopefully soon I will be able to let you know when that new pattern is out or the re-release of that pattern is ready to go. Um, yeah, done. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, what else have I been doing? Oh, yes, I think I might have showed you these. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, a while back I showed you this pattern, which is one from the book, but it's also one that I entered in the competition for a granny square competition run by um, allcrochetpatterns.net or by amigurumipatterns.net. Um, they had a competition for granny squares that I entered. I didn't win. But that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for your votes. Um, the ones who won were just beautiful, stunning, stunning, stunning. It was Joy in Melbourne, I think, and Mandy up in um, Dubbo came second, I think. So all Australians, yay! <laughs> but anyway, another um, reason for that competition was they were looking for 100 designs to put into a book that they're working on that's going to be out next year. So they asked if I would like to contribute this square and also some others. So um, the way they're doing things, I had to rejig my patterns a little bit to match their requirements. So that one and this one and this one are all going to be in that book next year. So there's going to be 100 granny square patterns um, by lots of different designers from all around the world. Um, yes, so I did them all in a single colour as well, just because that's how I like to do things. I do things single colour first and then I add the colour later. That's just the way it works for me. So yeah, that's all exciting and that's all done too. Um, what else? I think last time I saw you, I showed you a pattern. I was going to start making an amigurumi one. Well, I have started. <laughs> Monkeys. So I've done the heads and the bodies and I've done some arms and tails. I still have to do arms for the big one and legs for them all but then I can put it together so it's really not very far off being done at all so I'm doing like the same yarn but this is a single strand and this is two strands of the same yarns so yeah <laughs> they're fun coming together for my nephew's birthday coming up soon he's a monkey fan so that's fun um I think I mentioned last time that I have a couple of patterns going to be part of the white gum wool um um, collection that's coming out very soon in June 
and I've started to um, make, I've started to share some sneak peeks. So I, start, I kicked it off on Wednesday. I showed uh, my scarf pattern mm. called Hillix. And yesterday I showed my baby blanket pattern called Mill Pond. Um, both of those are part of the collection. And every day um, from now for another couple of weeks, somebody else, another designer is sharing their little sneak peek. So it's not the full thing, it's a little sneak peek of the pattern. And when they're all released, I'll be able to show you the actual things in my hands. So a couple of weeks' time, I'll be showing you those lovely things. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it <laughs> that I've been up to. Um, the book, the questions that I've had this week. Um, so UK and US, yes, there's going to be a version of UK terms edition and a US terms edition. So whatever you're more comfortable with, you will be able to do. Um, when's it out? Hopefully sooner, but I'm still saying by the end of July. I do have some big plans for um, a big launch party um, that I'm going to work on next week. So hopefully when we get the final proof, when I get the final proof submitted, final manuscript submitted, I'll be able to give you some more definite information on dates and when it's available. Um, another question, just a general crochet question I got in the mail, in the email this week, was about blocking. Now, I like to make squares and join them into blankets and the question I had was do you block your squares individually before you join them or do you wait and then join them at the end well it really depends on what you want to do I tend to block each square as I make it um, a couple of reasons it gets me off the couch it makes me stand up and walk to the laundry where I pin it out and, and block it um, but then like this blanket here, I did block the individual squares. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, and I have since added the border. And while the border is fairly straight, I still am going to block the whole thing again, just to make sure the edges are really nice and the corners are really pointy. I mean, it's pretty good already, but I, st I still am going to do it. It will make it look even better than what it does now. So I tend to do both, but you can just do whatever suits you best. It really doesn't matter. Um, that's that. <laughs> right, um, so my plans for the coming days. I'm going to edit those videos for the giantess patterns. I am. And start working on the new pattern PDF, putting it all together. It's going to be quite a long one because there's, because it's such a big pattern, the charts are huge. So they're split up over several pages. Um, it's all the round by round photos. <laughs> there's like two or three photos for each round. When there's 23 rounds, that's like nearly 100 photos for just one of the patterns. Anyway, it's going to be a big document. So I'm going to make sure that the written instructions are going to be on like a couple of pages that you can just print on their own so you don't have to print the whole thing. Anyway, thoughts going through my head. I'm <laughs> planning. <laughs> I still haven't done any more sewing, any more clothes like that I was going to do. Um, but it just hasn't worked out. Maybe this weekend I might make some more time for that. Um, book stuff, I still have... I'm, I'm taking my time and reading through every day and I find little things, you know, a word here and there that I want to change or, you know, a comma missing or something like that. So I'm still doing that. I'm looking at it every day for the next few days. I've sent a copy to my graphic designer, Michelle, hello, and to my proofreader, Sue Big. Um, so they are both looking through it as well, finding anything else. And yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, I think that's about it. Lots of stuff. I mean, you don't really need to know about all the planning stuff I'm doing, like, you know, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to, who I'm going to talk to, um, where the book's going to be available. I am planning all that now, and I will get some blog posts up that will have all the information that you need very soon. So, yay, that's it for me this week. I will see you next week, hopefully with some more things to share. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Have a wonderful week and if you have any questions at all um, if you're watching this later on youtube just leave a comment on the youtube video or email me shelly at spinquishes.com or comment on anything here on the facebook page and i will get back to you so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next week have a wonderful weekend bye